This is CES M M A. We're back live from Twin River Casino. More mixed martial arts action headed your way. And we are now in the middleweight division. And right now you're taking a look, Scott. There are going to be two fighters in this particular bout, both ending long layoffs for different reasons. Right now you're taking a look at Aldo Santos. Three and one with one knockout. Has two submissions to his record. 33 years old. Fighting out of the Dragon's Lair. One of several Dragon's Lair fighters on this card. He's been active for five years. Does have a fight against Doomsday Howard on his resume, believe it or not. That's his only career loss. But Club Lido Day. <laughs> that was back in 2005. He lost via first round submission to Doomsday. But again, hasn't fought since 2008. He's making his return to the cage tonight. And it'll be no tall task, uh, or rather a tall task, against the dangerous Tom Egan. I, I know Tommy very well. Tommy and I are training partners. And uh, you know, we spar you know, on a regular basis, getting ready for fights. And, I know for a fact that a lot of time out of the cage can be beneficial to you, it can be a detriment. So I guess we're really gonna have to take a look and, and see how Aldo, you know, how Aldo feels. If he took this time to learn, you know, get everything he needed in order in order before he got back in there or not. But he's a, he's a dangerous fighter, he was. And if he's been training in the interim and stuff, I'm sure he's uh, very excited to be back. Whether or not that layoff hurts or helps would seem to depend on the circumstances in which you had the layoff in the first place, whether right. or not. Absolutely. Personal reasons, injuries, etc. All right, so there is Aldo Santos again, three and one with one knockout. Does have two submission wins. Has not fought since 2008, and right now you're about to see the introduction of his opponent fighting out of Dorchester, Mass, originally from Ireland, yes, and a is. former UFC veteran, Tom Egan. Now, for those who remember, Tom Egan fought at UFC 93. That was in Dublin back in right. 2009. A lot of pressure on him for that fight, Scott. He was moved up higher on the card. He was one of the hometown fighters. I think maybe the only hometown fighter from Ireland on the card. And just got overwhelmed against John Hathaway. Not a good fight for him. Didn't end well. Ended you know, up getting released. It was a tough finish. It's tough. It's tough to get the call and turn it down. Let's just say Tommy might not have been 100% prepared for that fight. For whatever reason, even skill level at the time. The UFC calls. You answer the phone and you do your best. Ask Joe Lozon. Who gave Joe Lozon a chance against Dennis Paul? You know, I mean, not Dennis. Um, why am I drawing a punch? God help me. <laughs> Egan did turn down an opportunity to be on the Ultimate Fighter reality show to actually fight on the UFC card in Dublin. And his consensus right. was that he didn't want to be a part of that environment of the household. A lot of it's based on the fighter's characteristics. Well, Tommy's Sometimes also really drunken frat boy oh, yeah. antics. And Tom Egan didn't want to be a part of that. He was focusing on his career took the opportunity, it's hard to knock him for it, but after that stint with the UFC, did lose two of his next three and has been inactive for quite some time. Uh, so it, again, a layoff well, he's for him coming as off, well. He's coming off a fight, I want to say about two and a half months ago, and he did very well and he won by knockout. It was a high head kick, I believe. Um, but Tommy, he's been training. I can tell you he's been training. And in between that layoff and when he started to come back, all right, there it is. Tom Egan, five and three with four knockouts, weighing in at 183 yesterday, fighting out of Dorchester, Mass. And he will take on Aldo Santos, three and one with one knockout, fighting out of the Dragon's Lair in Framingham, Mass. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Devil's Cut Bout. We're scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the cage. Middleweights, your referee is Kevin McDonald. Introducing the blue corner, he's wearing white trunks. This fighter's official weight, 182 pounds. His professional record shows three wins with just one loss, representing Dragon's Lair and fighting out of Framingham, Massachusetts. Please welcome Aldo Santos. Across the cage to my left, this fighter's wearing black trunks. He tipped the scales at 183 pounds. His professional record, five wins, three losses, four big wins coming by way of knockout, representing Team Egan, fighting out of Dorchester, Massachusetts, by way of his native Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tom the Tank Egan. Three five-minute rounds. 
So I do stand corrected from my original intro. Tom Egan did fight in March, defeated Lil Zangri by knockout in the second round. Prior to that, hadn't fought since 2011. So Correct. he got the cage rust out of the way. We'll see if Aldo Santos can do the same against Egan tonight. Again, having worked a lot with Tommy, I'll tell you, he's a, he's a very good boxer. He's got good head movement, tons of power, and he's uh, a good wrestler to boot. Now, uh, it's been so long since since I've seen Aldo fight. I'll, I'll be very uh, very interested to see how he comes out. You wonder if sometimes the anxiety just makes you come out faster than you might normally do if yeah, you, you had a few fights under your belt. First contact. Tommy's checking those kicks very well. He's leaning on those. You see his right hand's pinned to his chin, left hand's up high. Good fundamentals. Red Teep just missed. Tommy tried to come right up the middle with that. Head kick by Aldo, that was short, but both men throwing the legs around a little bit. Egan uh, in the blue and black trunk, Scott. Santos in the white. Just trying to establish a pace here. Well, Tommy also likes to switch his stance, as you're seeing right here, going both orthodox and southpaw. He's also throwing a real low leg tape, which is just below or just above the knee, finding distance. Aldo did a very good job of returning off that kick. Nice rear leg kick by Aldo. That left a nice big bruise on Tommy's leg. I think Tommy switched that stance because of those kicks. Aldo's doing a great job of moving side to side, keeping his hands up. Straight right hand by Aldo, that was blocked well. You can see his confidence building Aldo's I'm talking about. He's getting a little loose, he's moving around a bit. Certainly a comfort level that you pick up as the round goes on. Correct. And you've been out for so long, you may almost forget what it's like, but Santos looking good so far. And there's your take that he caught that high kick, trying to take Tommy down. Tommy's looking at defending a heel hook here. Turns inside, top position. I'll do a great job taking him down, just lost position in the scramble. Both men just kind of trying to feel each other out right now. Aldo did a great job of get, throwing those heel kicks up at him. Tommy stacks him up to pass. And he's looking to get side control here cleanly, and he does. goes to knee on belly, trying to slide over the mount, gets it. There it is. Very calculated, very cool calculated making this happen. There come the strikes. Now he's gonna try to dig his hooks in, his flatten out Aldo, and lay the, lay the punishment is. down. Tommy will readjust again if he feels like he's riding too high. Left the right is unanswered, and that's gonna do it, Scott. Calm, We've seen cool it before. Collected. Very, again, methodical the word. Tom yep. Egan not panicking as Santos try to scramble out. You see what a veteran presence. Never was flustered, paced in, nice and smooth, and finished the fight well. Great finish by Tom Egan against Aldo Santos. So it's back-to-back -back victories for Egan. He's now 6-3. and three. Very impressive on the ground. And like you said, not panicking. Just took his time, flattened him out, they, and then drove in those no lefts. Emotion. Right. It was aggressive without being emotional. And sometimes not having bad blood toward your opponent can work <laughs> out for you. <laughs> Take a look at Tommy's lead leg, his left leg. That great job, we'll see the replay here. Tommy gets his back, puts the hooks in, and starts throwing some great ground and pound. Kevin McDonald's seen enough. If you get a close up of Tommy's uh, lead leg there, you're gonna see a nice welt from those. Again, with the ground and pound, you see both legs inside, flattening his opponent out so his hips can't move, and that's the end of it. Absolutely nothing Santos could do in that spot other than try to defend himself. He was unable to do so. And Kevin McDonald steps in and wisely stops it. So a first round knockout win for Tom Egan. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, three minutes, 27 seconds of the first round. 
referee Kevin McDonald stops the bout. Your winner by TKO, Tom the Tank Egan.